Hi friends! Today I come to you with a giant stack of books and a need to unhaul. But is this actually a book unhaul? Mm, we don't know yet. I've done this a couple of times this year where I have literally just been like, I don't even know if I want to read this book anymore because they've been around forever or they came in book boxes and I wasn't really interested in them prior to that before anyway. Or I've come to realize that maybe I'm not necessarily into the thing that that book represents or, you know, the kind of story that it is. There's a lot of things. So a couple times this year I've done like a try chapter where I read the first chapter of a book, decide if I want to keep it or not. Um, some things I read the first chapter of and I'm like, absolutely not. This is not for me. Some things I read and go, maybe it could be. And some things I read and go, I love this. I must read it. Today, I bring you the madness of it is the end of the year. I am going through my shelves. I don't have that many unread books left, but I have quite a few that I'm just not sure about. I have 13. So let's go through the books that we're going to talk about during the video. And then I'm going to read the first chapter of 13 books tonight. Okay, start with The Savage Song by B.E. Schwab. So this book has been out for a minute or five. This came out in 2016. I have read four books by B.E. Schwab, four and some. Read her mid-grade series, the, what's it called? Bridge of Souls. I can't remember right now. And of course, all of my books are in the other room, so I have no idea. Uh, but I've read that series. I've read the first book, In a Darker Shade of Magic, twice. I didn't really love it the first time, but I liked it a lot better the second time. Because I, I'm one of those people where I was like, I should have liked it because it's got all the things I love. Why didn't I like it? I read it again. I liked it better. I started reading the second book and I've DNF'd it like so many times. Not because I, you know, didn't want to read it, but because every time I started to read it, things started happening in my world and it got behind on it and it's okay. But anyway, the Savage Song, I don't know if this is going to be one I like or one I don't like. So I figured I might as well try out a chapter and see if it's worth keeping on my shelves. Um, I'm going to tell you what some of these are about, what I think these are about, because I don't know, because I haven't read them. I know this book takes place in a world where every evil act you do creates a monster. And I think the series follows a monster who's trying to be a better person and a girl who might be making a monster. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read it. This is kind of a weird one. Uh, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I've read the first three books, the trilogy, and this is like a sequel series. I liked the trilogy, but I didn't love the trilogy, especially like some of the romance decisions that it made. And so I'm going to read this one and see how I feel about the beginning of it and decide if it's something that I want to continue on with or not. Next is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston legitimately could not tell you what this is about. I got this in a book box. It's got the pretty sprayed edges. No clue. I've read some things by Ashley Poston before. Some I've loved, some I've been mm, about, um, but I've not really been in like a big YA mood unless it's YA spooky. Um, so, or rereading YA. YA is that I've loved in the past that I'm rereading. Fantastic. YA spooky, great. YA romance in particular, not really. YA fantasy sometimes depends on the fantasy. Um, so, and I mean, since we're talking about YA fantasy that I have no clue what it's about that came in book boxes. Uh, how about Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross? No clue. For some reason, I always think it's got something to do with a bear. I don't think it has anything to do with a bear, but it makes me feel like it has something to do with a bear. I don't know. Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. No clue. Couldn't tell you. Book box. YA. Skin of the Sea, Natasha Bowen. Book box. YA. No clue. This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. Again, book box. I do know this one. The girl like has a, a plant thing. She can control plants. Something like that. Now, at some point you will have seen me hold these books over the last year and I will have told you what they were about. Um, or the last two years because some of them have been here that long but I don't remember anymore because I just like read them when they came out of the box told you what a, what the the flap thing said and then moved on with my life. King of Battle and Blood by Charlotte St. Clair. This is the first book in an Adrian and his old retelling series. I don't know. Uh, this is definitely not YA. This is adult. Sweet Little Eyes by Kaz Freer. This was the book of the month in August of 2018. I believe this is one of the first book of the month books that I got. 
it's still here. Not really sure what it's about. Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. I actually got this, it was a book box book. It was a book box book, but I didn't get it in a book box. I actually ordered it myself um, because I wanted to read something by Zoraida Cordova. And this was the one that I picked and I've had it for a really long time. The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. Um, I picked this up in 2020 because Alicia was one of our authors for the Social Distance Book Fest. I tried to buy a lot from our authors that we had on panels for that. This is one of the few that I haven't read. So I sci-fi is weird for me. I like to support people. Sci-fi's hit or miss for me and I haven't picked it up. So I should. Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. I picked this up for the book club for my local bookstores, like in-person book club. It was like the January or February book for 2022. Uh, and I never read it and commenced in never going to a book club meeting in 2022. Uh, cause it was a year. So rom-coms have to be a specific rom-com and a specific writing style for me to enjoy it. Some of them I love, some of them I get very annoyed very quickly. So it's time to see where this one lies. And book 13 is Unwind by Neil Schusterman. This is like a five book series that I currently own all five books of. And I DNF'd Scythe um, for possibly reasons outside of the book's fault, but also maybe because of the book. I don't know. Do I know what this is about? I think it's about like where you have up to a certain point in a kid's age that you can choose to unwind them and use their body for parts which is interesting. So I think I'm gonna start with the YA book box books. I've got five of those, so that seems like a good place to start. And then I will be back with y'all after I have read one or two or a few of them. It's a different day. I just got out of the shower and I have some books to talk to you about. I have read the first-ish chapter of all 13 books. This went decidedly different than the last time I did this. First we'll talk about the books that I've decided to pass on. Okay, first is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. I did look up some spoilers for this because from the first few pages that I read I had a pretty good idea of what was going to happen in the story. I was correct and while I have said in the past that knowing what's going to happen in the story doesn't actually take away from my enjoyment of the story, I still feel like this maybe is a little more juvenile than what I'm looking for from what I read. And again, I didn't read the whole thing. So take that with a grain of salt. It felt like it was more mid-grade than YA, which I don't have a problem with because I enjoy mid-grade, but it didn't really work. Like the tone and the language didn't really work for what I think the story was trying to tell me. So again, I didn't read a whole bunch, but I just had a weird feeling about it and don't think that it's going to be one that I'm going to enjoy so I would rather not read it. Next I have Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. This book is a choice. It's a whole ass choice. I read exactly... I read eight pages. I read the first chapter which got me to page six and then I was like mm, and then I read two more pages and was like no no. This main character which, okay, again, I only read eight pages. And I know that like the point of a story is for the character to grow and to learn things and to change and to be a new person. But I hated this main character from eight pages. Like I wanted to slap the holy living fuck out of her. No, no, thank you. Just no, thank you. And then I have Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen in complete difference from the other two. I'm choosing not to read this one because I think it's going to be outside of my realm of understanding. I didn't read very much and I was very confused. I read I think like the first four or five chapters of this. I actually did read through quite a bit of it and I wasn't disliking what I was reading but I didn't really have any idea what was actually happening and I feel like if I continued reading this that it would probably end up with a low rating just based off of me not really comprehending the story. Based off of the themes that I believe this book follows, I feel like it would be a disservice to the book for me to read it slowly. So I'm going to pass on this one just out of not wanting to give it a poor rating. That's it. That that was everything that I decided I don't want to continue on with. Um, so let's talk about what we're keeping and why. Sweet Little Lies started off interesting. Detective story. 
I wasn't expecting that. Apparently, you know, I, maybe I should have read the book flap in 2018 and I would have actually been interested to read this book. Of course, I wasn't reading a lot of adult then. I've more recently came into reading adult and um, like murder mysteries and things that have to do with police and things like that. So this is more of what I'm reading now. And I did enjoy what I was reading. I enjoyed the writing. So this one I'm going to keep. I read a couple of pages of Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova and I liked the writing style and I liked kind of the way things were starting off. There's some things in there that I think are probably going to confuse the hell out of me, but I'm prepared. One I thought for sure that I was going to pass on, King of Battle and Blood by Scarlet St. Clair. I read the first chapter of this and I liked this a lot more than I expected to. Actually, I might have read mm, the first two chapters. Either way, I definitely enjoyed this more than I thought I was going to. I liked the writing. I liked the story. I liked the main character. So I'm interested to find out more. This was another one that based off of my previous read of the book and being very much into that idea of I didn't enjoy the romance of the first book and there were some things that just kind of like drug on and I, I was like, you know, maybe I don't want to read the next series. As soon as I opened this, we got to see friends from the last trilogy and I was like, mm, you know what? I miss these guys. I want to read this. So she also stays. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Liked the writing, liked the main character, interested in the premise. Um, it is a world where you have up until a kid's 18th birthday to decide to have them unwound, uh, which basically means that like if your kid misbehaves and isn't a good kid, you can just be like, well, I don't want them anymore and send them back to be used for parts. This Savage Song, I read a little bit at the beginning, liked where it was going, liked the writing style. I'd say this more follows what I got out of her mid-grade versus her adult, so hopefully this works for me. Dreams Lie Beneath, there was a really creepy monster right at the beginning and I really liked the way that it was written and the way that like the monster was expressed and I am here for it. Jade Fire Gold I must have read before in a previous try chapter and had forgotten because as I was reading this I was like I've definitely read this before. This is probably the one that I'm most wishy-washy on keeping or not but I think because I'm not like completely sold on getting rid of it that it should stay and I should give the book a real chance. Uh, I'm interested in it, but I don't know if it's going to be something that I enjoy. This Poison Heart, read a couple of chapters, enjoyed what I was reading, enjoyed the main character, liked the premise. And finally, The Sound of Stars. I loved the first couple chapters of this. It was fantastic. I had a great time reading it. I think that it's going to be an interesting read. It's going to be something completely different. I read or I might have only read the first chapter. I read everything, the first point of view. I, I got to the second point of view, which is Morris, and that's where I stopped reading because I don't want to read that much of it. So that's it. I read the beginning of 13 books from my shelves and decided to keep 10 of them, and three of them I'm going to donate and send off for someone else to enjoy because I don't think it's going to be something that I want to enjoy. I had really thought that this was going to give me, like, a bunch of books to unhaul, and I would be like, I these don't sound good or this premise isn't working for me or whatever. I, instead, it made me really excited to read books that have been on my shelf for a while that I've really been overlooking and not been super excited to get to um, just because I maybe didn't really know what they were about or wasn't un was unsure if it was something I was going to enjoy or not. But now I really think I'm going to enjoy these 10 books. So I'm very excited to get to them in the new year. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!